What's up everybody? Another horrible day today. A lot of bad news. Don't know where to start. Um, I got a cold. I got a cold started yesterday. Just from, I don't know, just from being out all the time or lack of eating properly or who knows what. But anyhow, so I got a cold. My nose, my nose is all stuffy. Throat hurts a little bit. So that's that sucks. And then also yesterday, the bigger bad news, I got uh, an email from the job I applied for saying that I did not get the job. So there's that. And like I said in the other video, if I didn't get this job, I don't, I don't know how... I don't know how I'm going to get any job because I was like way more than qualified for that job. I have all the pizza experience in the world. You know, you try to go on the interview, say the right things and whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. That's why I say I'm just tired of ignorant people online or even uh, in, in public. Just be like, they're simplistic thinking of, oh, just get a job. Like, yeah, I cannot force people to hire me. What do you want me to do? I go, I, I apply, go to interview, say the best things. I have all the experience in the world for that job. I don't get the job. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? You know, I'm 41 years old. You know, I'm washed up. I don't have, you know, I have very, I, I, even though I have a lot of uh, pizza experience, my work experience is spotty. I, you know, the last time I worked, what was it? December is when I got laid off from Dickie's Barbecue. So it's been several months since I worked. So that doesn't look good. And then I wasn't even there that long. That doesn't look good. And whatever. Anyhow, so that's the second bad news. I didn't get the job. Sick. Um, what else? I mean, we're on the street again. That's bad news, but that's just everyday news. Um, you know, still poor, still homeless, still no car. Still old, not getting any younger. Um, Becca, she actually got hurt. I didn't, I didn't even mention this, I don't think, in any videos. We are actually on the bus and um she like slid off the seat the the bus stopped she slid off the seat and fell down and hurt her wrist and you know we don't have insurance she can't get to the doctor not to mention we don't even have time to go to the doctor it's probably a, a potential lawsuit but you know what are you going to do you got to go to a doctor which we don't have insurance we don't even have time to like go to an emergency or whatever to sit for five hours or whatever at an emergency and then who knows how it would work out anyways with our luck who knows people like oh well it's you know, your fault because whatever. Even though she wasn't doing nothing, she was just sitting there. Anyhow, so her wrist got hurt, and so it's harder for her to drag around, the, you know, suitcases and backpacks and all that kind of stuff. And so that makes the day harder. Um, I don't know, just everything. Everything is just crap. Put it this way, I don't have any good news to report. Huh. Nothing. I mean, really. All of our... Um, oh, did I tell you guys about the housing thing that that fell through? The housing that we got approved for, we got a message from the guy saying that the housing uh, funding uh, got canceled. Not got canceled. It was just like, I don't know, used up. I forget what he said. Anyhow, so the, uh, even though we were approved for the housing, they don't have funding anymore. That's what he said. So they don't have funding anymore. And he was like, oh, well, I'll contact you back when funding is available again. It's like for very short periods. If you don't get housing in that, like, very short period. It wasn't even a week. <laughs> so we don't have... We don't have funding to get a, a house or an apartment. Uh, you know, obviously homeless, carless, jobless, moneyless. Um, oh, even the $50 that the person gave me, uh, which was it's great. I really appreciate it. But it, it, he gave it through um, GoFundMe. And GoFundMe, the good part is that it goes directly to your account. But the bad part is that it just, you know, it has to process however long it takes your bank or however long it takes GoFundMe. And then, no one's fault, it just happened to be a weekend when he gave me the money, and it happened to be uh, Memorial Day, and so banks don't do nothing on weekends and, and holidays, and so that was just a consequence. So anyhow, so the money hasn't cleared in the account yet, the $50 that the guy gave me. So we're still waiting on that. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna come, or it should come, but all this holiday and the week and everything that screwed everything up, after he gave me the money, and after I made the video, it dawned on me, I was like, oh, it's the weekend. And then it dawned on me, oh, Tomorrow's Memorial Day. I was like, oh, crap. I'm like, I'm not going to get the money until at least Tuesday. And then Tuesday didn't come. And I think today's Wednesday it didn't come. It's like, so every day we just check. So, you know, just more bad news. You know, <laughs> so the money's in outer space in limbo somewhere. 
that's kind of the nice thing about uh, PayPal is, you know, you get it that day, but it goes to PayPal and then it's up to you to transfer your account. But even with that, if the banks aren't going, you transfer it to your account. Probably the same thing. If it's a weekend or if it's a holiday, it's still not going to transfer to your account because the banks aren't operating, even though it's all online. Done. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of any good news to report. I got nothing. Like I said, I'm sick. I'm just, you know, top of everything else, just sick and feel like crap. Hungry all the time. Um, oh, it's hot, you know. Uh, even though we're, we're here in, uh, in Washington, which is way up north, it's still... You know, not not northern enough to not get hot or really hot, so we're already hitting 90 degrees days. It's not even summer yet, and so it's gonna it's gonna be. This, see, the part of the thing is it's not high elevation here, whereas when we're in Hesperia, it's high elevation, and so that moderates the heat too. So we're more northern, northerly, northernly, whatever. So that helps keeps it cool, but since we're low elevation, um, that allows it to get hotter. So, so it's hot. Just, you know, Nano stripping out. You hear Nano banging the bottle against the thing. You know, my son's still autistic. And, you know, that, that has its own challenges. People don't understand that. And so, yeah. So, uh, so everything. No good news. I really, I'm like trying to think of any good news. I mean, the first is coming in a couple of days. So we get a little bit of relief. But it's like... We can't even be happy about it because it just goes for hotel and food and so yeah anyhow all bad news thanks for watching see you next video